what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to replace the wiring on my nav navigation lights here and uh, I got my uh, marine heat shrink connectors I got the uh, marine grade uh, wire and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to run it through the rail on the way they had it before. So we're going to take apart what was there that I didn't do and we're going to put it back like it should be. So keep watching. I think this would be an example of how not to put boat wiring on and so I can see right now rule number one never ever would you ever use wire nuts on boat wiring so that's that's the first thing we're going to get rid of I don't know that that socket's going to be any good. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to use this wire to tie my other wire on to help fish it through. So that'll save me some time. Well, we got our wire run back here. Now we're going to go ahead and put a new socket on. These lights here, have, uh, you know, it's getting darker in the evening all the time, and and so you got to wiggle them around and stuff to try to make them work, and because salt water's taking the toll on them. So we're going to put some new sockets in here to get us some new uh, nav lights here. So uh, when we turn them on, that we'll know we'll work. I like to uh, go ahead and use the socket type even though I could put the hard wire this way I can take them off when I'm not using them less likely for damage and uh, whatnot and then when I need them I know they'll be there and work so get some new sockets new lights and uh, let's go you can see on this one I'm going to show you that uh, this was kind of one of those middle of the night uh, fixes the plug went bad I pulled the wire out and uh, hard wired this in there so I knew before this season started it was time to get some new ones. Yeah, I just knocked the bottom out of this socket and run the wire right out. So let's get that fixed up. How to allow for the rotation of the uh, this bracket to swivel, which we're okay because we're taking one off there. These are regular marine connectors that uh, the, heat, the heat shrink. This is 18 gauge wire here. This connector is made to go from 18 to 22. So it's the proper size for here. So we're going to crimp that on there.
And we'll crimp them here. And this is uh, 18 as well, so it's all the same size wire gauge. And we're not hooked to the battery on the other end, so. That looks good. Even though I've shrunk them, it's just me. But I like to put some of this liquid tape on them. Just in case it just leaves a little spot for moisture. Some people have told me that I'm not sealing out moisture. I'm sealing it in, but it makes me feel better. These screws here might be a little bit big for here, but... This is what I've got in stainless on hand, so, I mean, the diameter's right, it's just the length is a little long. There it opens. You slip it in. And this locks it where it can't slide out. Let's go ahead and get our light. All right, got our light here. Let's try it out. It's got these notches here. You just slide down in here. Push it all the way in. You turn this, and that locks it where it can't come out. Just in case anybody picked up on it. This ring here on this here is... Uh, Maybe if you've got a base that doesn't have a locking collar on it, this is the ring that slips down in there and locks, locks this uh, pull in here. But the base as I'm using has a locking collar that holds it, and I don't use this. It's no more than two Phillips screws, and you can slide off, put them back in. I was just going to leave it on there, just in case uh, I ever would put it on a different boat or something that had the locking collar. So, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Also, this light here is not supposed to be any higher than 39 and 3 8 inches than your red and green nav lights on the front. So, you know, and it's supposed to be able to illuminate enough for uh, two nautical miles. So, which this light meets all those requirements. So, just if you're putting your own lights on for any reason, just kind of keep that in mind. And I'm going to do the front one the same way for the, uh, the red and green light up there. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, any products we used here today, the marine wire, the marine connectors or anything, I'll put down a link down below where you can get that stuff. So uh, keep watching. Thanks.